just slowly slide down to about there where the holes from the original um, seal was. And as you can see, it's kind of off and not straight. So we're gonna use our board here and then mark it. With a Sharpie, I've noticed seems to work the best. And then we'll cut that off. We're not gonna need this piece for anything. So we'll just cut that off and then get rid of it. Make sure you have sharp scissors. This is thick material. And slippy. And slippy, which also makes sewing this hard because it flips all around in the machine. So you gotta be aware of that. You can't do the magic thing where you glide the scissors like that because again, <laughs> it is thick. So that's our extra piece that we're not using. Now, we're gonna fold it on the other end here. And then we're gonna cut off the top. Now this one is Wait. usually straighter. And yes, speed, speed greatness. greatness. Unfortunately, <laughs> and, and how to open it on the top. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're cutting that part off, but it's already implied that you feed greatness. Because look at that goat, that goat is great in it. <laughs> and then, so we're lining this up with the top edge. And then we're gonna cut this off for the handle. And yes, we are using the greatness in the handle. <laughs> so, again, cut this. We'll get our handle at least prepped, and then we'll start sewing the actual bag. Well, cutting and then sewing the actual bag. There we go. So, this is one loop, but we need to cut this so that it is one piece. Now there's one spot in the bag where they seal the material together, and it has this flap. We don't want that, so we cut it as close to that as we can. And then we actually cut this thick part where they sealed it off, because you see it's double thickness here. That's hard to sew. Because it's hard to sew when it's double thick. So, we won't need this little chunk. Okay. Thank you. And then I'm gonna show you how to hold the handle here so that it's ready to roll. Now, we're, you could fold it so that you have the colors and maybe the printing that's there. I'm gonna fold it so it's white, like that one, because that looks cleaner-ish, I don't know. Again, if you're sewing this, you can do what you want, but the way to fold it is we're folding it edge to edge in half, and then you're creasing it so that it stays there, which I find is hard to do with my fingers, so I use the hard part of the scissors to do that. And then this is a little intensive. Most of this is very tedious, but if you sew, you will know that this is just a part of sewing. Now, I'm not sure if you can hand sew this. You would need some serious hand strength, I think, if you're gonna hand sew this. This is tough to hand sew. I mean, it's tough on the machine, because not only do you have thick material that's slippy, and slides all around. But it's also covered in molasses, so that can gunk up the machine. Sticky dust. Yeah, sticky dust, which uh, is not friends with the thread. Even if you clean it really well. <laughs> I think you would, if you were to clean it purely, there would not be anything left of the cute printing. So, I fold it in half all the way. Because the first thing that fails on this is the picture separates from the woven polypropylene. Which is the white part. Okay. Last little bit. Alright. Now, as you can see, we made a crease and then that crease is there forever. But, we're not done folding it. We're now going to fold it even more. We're going to fold almost all the way halfway into the crease that we just made. Not completely, we need to leave a little space out. And then fold that. Again, all the way over. 
You can use your fingers, but it's sandpaper to do so. Yeah, it requires a lot of finger strength that I don't have. I have a lot, but not that much. Folded that on one side. We now have to do the same thing again on the other side. Luckily with the other side, this is where it was sealed with the original seal, so you can use that as a guideline. And then rinse and repeat. And if you think we were done folding, no we're not. So now that we've just made our two folds, we're then going to fold it back over the middle seam we just made and then fold it even tinier. And then we'll seal it again one more time. And then the handle will be ready to sew. So we'll set that aside and sew it after we've made the bag. popped up a little, but that's because we've only creased it, we haven't sewed it down, which we will do later. So I'm going to set this back here, and then we'll work on the bag itself. Now, in order to do this, next step, we need to pull the bag inside out. Rip headphone users. They're super obvious now. Now, put the bag in, side, out. We're now going to fold it again on the middle side seam, middle side crease. It's not a seam yet, so that it is completely flat and you get elastic dust all over your hands. Now, we're going to sew two bottom seams right next to each other. Now, you could stop there because that will seal the bag, but since I want to make it cute and stand up by itself like that bag, we're going to sew two bottom seams and then make little corners that fold in so that it stands up and looks all cute. So, over we go. The sewing machine and not trip on the cables or the foot. Now this one is a heavy duty sewing machine. You could do this on a regular one. Either way it's hard on the machine because the material is nasty, but do what you can. So, I'm just sewing along the bottom. With some regular white thread. And there we go. Find the corner 
usually about here. And then there's a green line here from where the green printing is. You usually fold it on that line up to about where it says goat feed right here so that it makes a triangle. And so there's a corner on this crease. The corner on this crease and on the second crease on two side creases. And that gives it a flat bottom. So now that we have it folded, we're gonna fold it back over and then go across here. creases are in there, or two triangles. And now, it will stand up by itself. About? About. <laughs>
do, we're gonna fold it to about the same size as the handle that we set aside. Make a crease. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna fold it again. That way it is double sealed. We have our edge done and fold it over. Now we just need to sew along the edge of the edge of the edge on the edge of the sewing machine. So, this one has a feature where you can do this. So you can wrap whatever it is you're sewing all the way around, like so. I don't know if yours has this, you can check. And this is how I'm doing it with mine. here and just around we go We made contact the line we made at the beginning. So, cut off all our strings. That will happen. And sharpen your scissors so that they aren't. Those scissors gonna be bad. Those scissors. <laughs> yeah, those scissors are looking for a new job. Make sure strings don't get caught in here. Or your hair. Or my hair. <laughs> or my jacket. And best to have your hair tied up when doing this. I have it down because it looks nice. Or so I've been told. Anyway, so you're gonna take our handle that we folded. And then we're gonna fold that back along the edge like it's supposed to be. And then we're gonna sew along this edge. So, that under the foot. Get it underfoot. And then we're kind of sewing over the old line. But that's okay. Because these holes are spaced way further apart than sewing. That's me. Sealed it all the way, set up all our strings, and now the handle. But this isn't a complete handle. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna fold it again in half. Now, we have our complete handles. We have a complete handle on this. So, we get our bag back here. And attach them on the inside. Now, a way to tell is again, we're using these three creases. We're going to have two side creases plus the center crease. Like this. And usually right at the edge where these three creases stop is where you want to put your handle, like right about here. I'm gonna put my finger there. And then 
put it here. And then we'll just seal it. Now, this will be kind of hard to see. We have to come around this way. All the strings. Do. So we have the bag facing this way. Put that here. And then I'm going to make a square. I'm going to make, we're going to sew towards us the usual way. And then we're going to twist it and make an L. And then we'll use the reverse feature to finish making a square so that it is sealed to the bag. can't have just one. Yeah. They're like tater chips. You can't have just 15. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this set is done. That set is done. You guys liked it. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you want to actually buy the ones that I made, you can make the Etsy, which is in the description. And um, yeah, anyway. And if you need a matching hat. <laughs> if you need a matching hat, there's again the video up here. And uh, probably in the description too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope y'all are doing okay with all the world stuff going on. But keep calm, color your goats, and I'm sure everything will probably be fine, maybe.